This segment of the news is brought to you by Sun Oil Limited. Welcome back. Bahamas Union of Teachers President Belinda Wilson says that after 10 months, it must be obvious not only the union, to not only the union rather, but to the entire country that the Ministry of Education and its top officials do not have a clue as to how schools will reopen safely face to face. Her comments follow the ministry's recent announcement that face to face learning scheduled to resume next week are continuing to be discussed on the islands of New Providence, Abaco, Exuma and Eleuthera. The ministry says once those discussions have concluded, it will further engage with stakeholders to determine a set date. Again, I urge them to accept the written and verbal recommendations and the logical advice that has been given to them freely from March 2020 when the COVID-19 pandemic first affected the Bahamas. I want to remind the officials at the Ministry of Education that teachers are the experts in education. Teachers have great ideas and strategies. She adds that education officials have fumbled the ball. Mrs. Wilson adds that the union is ready, willing, and able to assist the Ministry of Education to ensure students' education continues. In crime news, police currently investigating the second homicide for the week, this time a male in his mid-30s succumbing to multiple gunshot wounds. His body was found on a track road running parallel with Graham Drive in the Yellow Elder Gardens area. Press Liaison Officer Assistant Superintendent Audley Peters was on the scene to give the details. Shortly before 7 a.m. this morning, officers from the operations unit were on routine mobile patrol along Graham Drive when they were alerted by a concerned citizen that a body was found unresponsive through a track road. The officers went to, to the track road, which runs parallel with Graham Drive and is commonly referred to as the Gulf. On their arrival, they found the body of a Negro male lying, unre- lying on the ground unresponsive with apparent gunshot wounds. Emergency medical service was summoned On completion of their examination, they pronounced the body lifeless. ASP Peters says the body was found about 30 feet away from a vehicle, which can be seen here being towed away. But at the moment, it is unknown if if it belongs to the victim. Additionally, it's estimated the body was there for approximately 12 hours as rigor mortis had already set in. When asked if there was any indication that the victim was a resident of this area, ASP Peters gave this response and this warning to the public. There's no indication that this is a, he's a resident of the area. However, historically, this area has normally been used for criminal activity in the past. We've had incidents that would have occurred in a in. That's why we encourage persons not to travel on track roads or roads that they consider unsafe. And this is an area that we don't suggest that individuals should travel to. If you look at the terrain, anything notorious is liable to happen in an area such as this. According to ASB Peters, this is not the first time a body has been found in this bushy area. 50-year-old fisherman and longtime resident of Yellow Elder Gardens spoke to what the community needs to make it safer for its residents. They need to put a police station up in there, man. You see? They need a station up in there. They need to police them constantly because the fellas some day will see when the police them coming through and then when they done pass through. And every night you're hearing all kind of gunshots and stuff like that. See, now once they have these bush down, see, they can come very up, better bushes high up like that. They, they know once they come in the back, they can do anything they want to do and they're scared away. You see? Because it's a lot of bush. But if they cut this bush down, then, you, you know, the fellas, I mean, it wouldn't be more, it wouldn't be a spot for them to keep coming to do it, you know, for a crime mess and things like that. You're watching JCN News. Stay with us. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.